A lot of us know that Felicia Rashad is the new Dean of Arts at Howard University. Did you know that her father was a Howard man too? He graduated from the Howard University School of Dentistry in 1946, and that is wonderful. But when his wife was ready for him to be gone, none of that mattered. Let's get into this quick story about the parents of Felicia Rashad and Debbie Allen. But first, if you like these videos about your favorite and most scandalous celebrities from yesteryear that make the Ty Said What Ty Said channel a time capsule for the culture, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know every time that I upload one of these videos or every time that I live stream. And comment I subscribe in the comment section so that I can say hello to you. Now, on to why you are here. This story starts in Jet Magazine, their April 22nd, 1954 issue. In it, we learn that the mother of Felicia Rashad and Debbie Allen, Vivian Allen, wants a divorce. Here was what was written in Jet. Texas poet sues dentist's husband for divorce. Vivian Ayers Allen of Houston, Texas, filed suit for divorce from her dentist husband, Dr. Andrew A. Allen, declaring that they are manifestly incompatible. The socialite, once called the most exciting, intelligent, and beautiful woman in America by a Swiss professor at Fordham University, quipped, quote, I am a poet, but not yet a saint, and if I am martyred now, it will be untimely, end quote. Married nine years and the mother of three children, Mrs. Allen is the author of a book of poems called Spice of Dawn. Well, she was able to get that divorce. Then, just two and a half years later, in the November 8th, 1956 issue, Jet gave us this story that they put in their Mr. and Mrs. section. Texas poetess shoots at dentist's ex-hubby. A noted poetess and author, Vivian Ayers Allen, claims she fired a bullet at the feet of her dentist ex-husband, Dr. Andrew Tex Allen, after he allegedly tried to run a house guest from her home in the fashionable Sugar Hill area of Houston. She announced plans to sue Dr. Allen for $35,000 for attempting to malign and disgrace her. Mrs. Allen granted custody of their three children in a 1954 divorce action, said she fired into the floor because she wanted to show the doctor that she had no fear of his repeated talk of returning with firearms. And that concludes that story. Well, it certainly looks like Mrs. Allen wasn't taking any bullying from her husband once she said that it was over. But did you catch that she said that she wanted to show her ex-husband that she had no fear of his repeated talk of returning with firearms? If what she was saying is true, it sounds to me like Felicia and Debbie's father must have been harassing and stalking their mother for quite a while after things were over. I don't see any other stories about this couple or ex-couple. So maybe after Vivian fired that shot, Dr. Allen finally got the message. And it's worth noting that this story was in the Mr. and Mrs. section of Jet Magazine. That is also where we got the story about Kingfish shooting at his wife over the pot roast. If you haven't seen that story, you can check it out here. I'll also leave a link to it in the description box. If you want text notifications so that you can get a text 15 minutes before I release a video or 15 minutes before I live stream, simply send a text to 786-632-2135 to let me know that you want text and you will get an outgoing text message 15 minutes before I have a new video release. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Ty Said What Ty Said channel. Please leave a thumbs up and comment so that we can get a discussion going. And share this video on all of your social media, especially your Facebook. That really helps me out a lot. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know when my next video is ready for you. And if you don't like what I'm saying, but you love it, Feel free to hit that applaud button just below your video screen there and send me some donations, donations, donations. Yeah, baby. See you on the next video.